These are the six knives that I actually don't carry in my pocket. Either I've been hurt by them before, or there's something wrong with them where they're downright dangerous. So I would not carry these and I would not hand these out for anyone else to handle. First, we've got our Italian automatic switchblade. This thing just makes you want to eat some mozzarella, get some moots. This is dangerous because if you open it too close to flesh, you're gonna have a problem. The standard blade, if you were to open it up against the skin, you might get a little thwap because of the spring-loaded mechanism. But if I did that with this knife, I get demonetized. Okay, so this knife is very broken and very dangerous because the little bar here, the screw came out here and here. So I can actually deploy it by pulling the little bar. So I never pocket carry this thing because this could get pushed down and this could hook on something. And then I have a bad time in my pocket. Ask me why I keep some of these knives. The answer is I have no idea. Okay, coming to our French made knife. We've gone all the way from Italy, China, <laughs> to <laughs> So with Apinel, when you open it, it does not have an automatic blade lock. You could very easily put the blade back on your own fingers, back on yourself. So people might not know about the ring, which will lock it open and can also lock it closed. But since this is a knife actually invented in the 1890s in France, the number eight, this is not something people typically know about it. So I don't hand this out and you need to know the trick of the ring. So this knife is a bit stumpy and that wasn't on purpose. It was broken off at the tip. So my dad sharpened at the break point and the back of the knife. Anyway, it makes it for a terrible pocket carry because I have a sharpened blade sticking out at all times while this is in my pocket. This is my most expensive knife. And the reason I don't pocket carry it is because it is a pain in the ass to open. I was slicing a freaking apple with this thing and for whatever reason, it stuck up the blade. I cleaned it out best I could. I put some oil in there, but now it just does not open as it should. And under this much pressure, waste of $300, huh? All right, so the last knife is the Spec Elite Auto 2. This thing is pretty freaking deadly. It's wicked looking, I'll tell you that much. It does have a blade lock for pocket carry. So if this is engaged and you hit the button, it won't deploy. But one day and have the lock engaged. This came open in my coat pocket and obliterated my coat and nicked up my stomach pretty good. This thing massacred my puffy jacket. And for that reason, I do not daily carry it. And I definitely don't hand it out for anyone else to handle. In my next video, I'm gonna be talking about bespoke knives and if they're even worth the damn. Subscribe for more EDC content.